it is the 8th of March, it's Women's Day, and I, for the past two weeks, I have not been taking care of myself. You can literally see I just woke up, like literally just woke up. This is better. Um, yeah, so this weekend is going to be the weekend where I get myself together do like a li little mini glow up um so at 11 o'clock i have an appointment to do my nails my nails are horrible this is broken these are broken yeah so today we are getting our nails done tomorrow we are taking an everything shower and sunday we are doing our hair and also, either today or tomorrow or Sunday, somewhere throughout the week, we're doing an unboxing for a little hair removal machine that I bought. And we are also doing a try-on for some clothes that I bought. But I bought them so long ago, I don't even remember. And they were just, you know, piled up because I was saving them for a, like, a try-on haul. But that never happened because I was busy for the past two weeks. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And yes, good morning. So I'll go ahead and start my morning routine, you know, I'll brush my teeth, wash my face and all that good stuff. And I'll start getting ready for work because right after we get our nails done, I'll go to work. Um, but yeah, and I, I'll have to stop the video because I'm filming with my phone and I need to call my mom and so that phone call will be a long one so yeah I'll get ready and I'll call my mom and then we'll get back to filming when we go to the nail salon so I tried calling my mom she didn't pick up the phone I'll call her again pretty soon and yeah washed my face brushed my teeth and all of that and I made breakfast and I just wanted to share with you guys what I like to eat for breakfast, which is basically just eggs, like an omelet, but I like to put Tabasco sauce on it. Yeah, that's um, the little things that I like. So I just wanted to come over here real quick. Um, I was editing and I looked over yesterday's footage of me unboxing the brown machine. My hair is so messy. And I just noticed that I had this angle very bad. I apologize for that. I'm so sorry. Anyway, disregard that. Okay, so since my mom has not called yet, I know my feet look horrible. Let's not look at that. But since my mom has not called yet, I was thinking maybe, just maybe, let's do the unboxing. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I, I have like a monthly budget of like $50 for like toiletries and like other beauty stuff. I know I'm cutting the box in a weird way because it has my address. Um, some because I was running low on my summer ski but that is a little personal so let's not go there um so yeah I actually had this before so a little backstory on this when I was 18 and I moved to live with my mom um, my parents are from different countries my mom's from Uzbekistan and when I was 18, I moved to live with my mom in Uzbekistan. And so when I moved to live with my mom in Uzbekistan, um, you know, my mom started teaching me girly stuff, because my dad didn't do that. And my stepmom didn't either. Well, she tried, she tried. I, I do remember her um, bleaching like my mustache and stuff. But, um, so my mom was like teaching me how to shave and stuff. But then my mom decided to just get me this instead of, you know, because I 
cut myself and stuff. And this was amazing. I mean, I could, I just did this once a month and for like half to one, half to three quarters of the month. So like two to three weeks, my hair wouldn't start growing. I loved it. Um, it's pretty easy to use. It might be painful at the beginning, but as you do it more frequently, it'll be less painful. And this is definitely worth it. Um, this, I think this was like 30 some dollars. And I know it's an upfront investment, but listen, those razors, you spend a year more than you'll spend on this. And this will last you for years. I mean, my mom got me this when I was like 19. And I've been using it like ever since, literally. Or did she get me this when I was 18? I don't remember. But like 19, 18 ish, and I used it up until I was 22. And when I was 22, I came here, and the only reason I stopped using it was because I came to US, and the plugs are different here, and the wattage is different too. So it just stopped working because the US electricity wasn't working for it. And so I had to throw it away because I didn't know any better what to do with it. Recycle? Recycle how? So, um, yeah, now I got one that is compatible with the US situation with electric. <sighs> I can't speak today, but I basically bought this specifically to be used in US. I mean, I bought it from US. <laughs> so, yeah, let's, um, let's figure out how to open this. color as mine was. Do they have other colors? I don't know. Yes, see? It's compatible with US because my previous was not. So that was... Huh. This is new. I don't remember this. That's cool though. I remember using this to clean up um, my hair and like like the little hair that will get stuck. Oh yes. No, it's actually not the same color. Mine was purple. This is pink. It's okay though. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, because I personally didn't use this thing. I personally just used it like that. But yeah. Um, okay. Let me bring the camera down so that you guys can have a close up look at what I'm gonna go over here. Okay, so this is it up front. So these things are kind of like tweezers. Do you guys see? They're kind of like tweezers. And so they will open and close and this rotates so it will rotate and literally plug all of your hair out so this will be pretty painful the first time you use it however you know the more frequent you use it like you see my hair is thin now but my hair is thin not because of shaving but literally because of this because i've been using this for a while so back to this there's this little thingy, and I honestly do not know why is it used, because I never used it, like, I literally removed it, and I used it without it, so, I don't know, but it's there. Um, actually, let's find out, I have a book here, so. Okay. So it is a massaging roller attachment. So basically if you want to remove it, it's fine. Um, I removed it. I always used it without it, so. And then there's this thing, which I never had before, so I don't know what the hell is this. And I, um, I'm pretty conservative when it comes to things like that, so you best believe I won't be dabbling with that. But yeah, I'm 
comes with a little brush so that you can clean your little brown machine every time you're done. So I got a little distracted while I was getting my nails done, so that's the final result. Stilettos, black, glossy as per usual. So I just came back home from work and I have a little bit of time before I go to a birthday dinner, so I decided to do a little quick show for you. So this is what I got from Shein. It's a very pretty um, retro like blouse. I've been wanting it for so long <laughs> and this is not sponsored but yeah I'm so happy that I got it because it's sold out. <laughs> but, um, so that's that. And then this is another thing that I got from Shein that I also wanted for so long. I don't have time to try it all on, but I do want to just put it away, so I wanted to just show you guys. I think it's very pretty, and I just like how there's like all these buttons are like, you can't see them, but there's like these and the ones on cups. I just, I don't know, I love it. I think like this would look so good with like um flare or like boob cut pants but yeah that's there and i got this to hang this on this is a blazer and i just love i i have a thing for blazers i like i'm borderline collecting blazers but i just love the the details on the sleeves and the buttons I just think it's I think it's gorgeous and this blazer actually comes with a belt. It's a cute little belt. So um let's put the belt here as well as the blazer itself. So yeah. I think it's pretty. Okay, um, let's see what's that. Because I forgot what I ordered. That's how busy I was. Oh, yeah, I remember. I ordered this because I have a skirt that I have nothing to wear with, and I decided to order this. That skirt is knitted, so this, this is also like a knit top. Very simple, just, just simple plain black tights because I'm out of tights. I I was raised in Uzbekistan, Tashkent, so when it's cold outside we wear hosiery, so tights, and I have, because I don't know, you remember how my nails looked before I got them done yesterday? Yeah, they looked horrible and they also just literally tore all of the tights that I have, so I needed tights. And yeah, these came in very timely. I also got this thing, which is to basically poke holes in my belts, because I think only one of my belts, two of my belts are my size, and one of the two is like this chunky big belt that I can only wear with like dresses. So other belts, they're all just big on me. My waist is very small, so I needed to make more holes in them. So I ordered this thing so that I can just do it at home. Um, ooh, these are the boots. The boots. I've been waiting for them for so long. I just love this detail this ring detail on them.
they fit me perfectly. So I usually like to save these bags when I buy shoes just because whenever I'm moving or if I'm going on a vacation, that's exactly where I put my shoes so that they don't get the rest of the clothes and the rest of the stuff dirty. So I like to save these and I have like a bag where I put them and I take them out whenever I need them. So I, I mean, I've been moving my whole life. My parents are from two different countries, so we've been back and forth for a while. And then when I um, moved to Tashkent full time, I've been also moving a lot because um, I decided to move out of my family house. So like for a good year, I've been moving around. And then I came to US, moved again. And then in US, I've moved states like three times. I lived in Maryland, then I moved to Delaware, then I moved back to Maryland, then I moved to Missouri. And yeah, I've been moving a lot. So I need these things and I save them. And we've got just basic shirt. Because I wear a lot of suits. I mean, as I just said, I'm obsessed with blazers. So I wear a lot of suits, but I didn't have a lot of shirts to wear with them. I mean, like basic shirts. So I ordered this. I need to get a, I need to get a, a hanger for this one. And the last thing that we have for today is this. And these are trousers and these will go to the tailor with the rest of them just because I'm pretty sure they're not I mean I usually order extra small sometimes small if there's no extra small but basically even extra small 99% of the time is big on me and I have to take it to the tailor just because I'm short and my waist is so small so I just always have to take my pants to the tailor to um, tighten up the waist and to shorten the length so I haven't really tried them on yet as you can tell and I don't have time to do so but I am almost certain that these will need to go to the tailor so yeah that was our quick little unboxing and now I have to run to get a gift for the birthday person and go to the birthday obviously and put all of this away and throw all of this away <laughs> hi and it is not saturday anymore so yesterday i came back home a little too late yeah so i didn't do anything so today what we're gonna do is an everything shower we'll start from there and I'll see how I feel and if I have time and energy to style my hair for the week, that's what we'll do. And if I'll have time and energy to do my pedicure, because I do my pedicure at home, that's what we'll do. If I'm in the mood to mess with my eyebrows, that's exactly what we're going to do. So it all depends on my mood, but we're definitely starting with an everything shower. My hair is in a terrible condition, as you can see. So because most of... Well, my, the vast majority of everything I'm going to do is going to be in the shower, in the bathtub, where I'm not going to be filming. So let me explain to you what is going to happen and what will go down. So an everything shower is basically what I do every day, plus things that I do throughout the week, but I kind of neglected because I wasn't really paying much attention to myself in the past two weeks as I already explained before I think so yeah that's my everything shower so how I start my shower is a dry brush I dry brush every day except for the past two weeks because I wasn't feeling like it because I was busy so what I do with dry brush is I basically just do circular motions all around my body with an extra focus on my butt and my thighs because I'm trying to avoid southern light. I know, I know, some people say it works, some people say it doesn't, there's no research around this, but why not, I'll give it a try. However, this does help with your lymphatic system, so yeah, I do this first every morning before I take a shower. Then, after this, I move into my shower and I start with my mouth routine first. 
So I brush my teeth. I personally like to use Crest, everything from brand Crest except for toothbrush, obviously, because I don't know, Crest just helps whiten your teeth. So, but yeah. So brush and then a tongue scraper. That's important for your hygiene. So just scrape your tongue. Uh, okay, so now that we got that covered. So usually I use Crest mouthwash, but last I ran out of it and last time I went to buy a mouthwash, I didn't find Crest mouthwash. So I bought this random one and I'm using this. So that's my morning teeth routine. Brush, tongue, and mouthwash. In the evening before I go to bed, I also um, floss. So I'll floss, brush, tongue, mouthwash. During my everything shower, I will do all. So I'll floss, brush, scrape my tongue, and also mouthwash. Um, so that's my mouth routine. After I'm done with my mouth routine, in the shower, I will cleanse my face. So in the shower, I cleanse my face with CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. And sometimes, you know, if I, if I took really good care of my skin the night before, I'll just have one to two pumps of this, massage it on my face, and then I use this brush. I use this plastic side or silicone, not really sure. Just circular motions away from the center of my face. And this brush, soft side, you know, my eyelids, just gently. Now, if I didn't really take good care of my skin the night before, I'm gonna double cleanse. So, just going in with this, massaging it, rinsing it off, once again, with the brush, rinsing it off. So, in my everything shower, we're gonna double cleanse, okay? So, first this, massage, rinse off, again this, massage, brush, rinse. The rest of my facial routine is gonna happen outside of the shower, so we'll get back to that. Um, but yeah, then after my face, I move down to my body usually. My body is a two-step process. Step one, loofah. Step two, so I go in with the loofah, I wash it all off, then step two, exfoliating gloves. Circular motions all through my body, rinse it all off, we're done with the body routine. Currently, I am using this Oasis Goat Milk Plus Collagen Body Wash. I got this from TJ Maxx for like $6. I swear to God, this is a deal. It's 40 ounces, $6, y'all. When it comes to hair though, because we will be doing my hair, so I would sometimes oil it, however, I'm out of oil to oil my hair. When I do oil my hair, I wear this cap and I leave the oil on for like an hour, but I don't have any oil and I don't have any time, so we're not doing that. But yeah, so just so that you know. So let's say we oiled it, we're washing it. I double shampoo my hair. Just because I wash it once a week, I double shampoo it. Currently, I'm using this Herbal Essences Smooth Leaf. Lysera rose hips and then I condition my hair and currently I'm using this Argan, Argan Magic Ultra Hydrating Conditioner so I put this on my hair like probably from here to here you know not the roots but like right after the roots my whole hair and I keep it on for a few minutes like three to five minutes and then I wash it off and I have this thingy and I use it occasionally. Usually, I used to use it when I would oil my hair, just after I oil my hair, just massage my head, my scalp, just to kind of get the circulation going. But we're not doing that today because I don't have oil and I don't have time, so. So basically, I just gave you a rundown of everything I do in the shower. Now I can go ahead and start having my shower, and after I have my shower, I can come out. And we can continue the conversation of what I do after my shower. So, once again, recap everything shower, dry brush, floss, brush my teeth, scrape my tongue, do the mouthwash, double cleanse my face, once massage only, second time massage plus brush, um, then oh, 
and before I do my face, obviously I do my hair, double shampoo, conditioner for a minute, then rinse it off. Um, and loofah plus exfoliating gloves, and we're done. Okay, so fast forward, I showered. Let me give you some updates because I apparently forgot to include some stuff in my in-shower routine. So, after I cleansed my face, because this is my everything shower, I used this facial scrub. Um, I usually do scrub my scrub routine every Wednesday and Friday. So this is what I use. And every Tuesday and Thursday, I do a face mask. So yeah, I've used this. I just forgot to show that to you before the shower. As well as for the body, I use this Dr. Teal's she she Sugar Scrub. So when it comes to scrubs, after I cleansed my face, that's when I scrub my face. My body, same way, loofah, um, exfoliating gloves, and then scrub. Usually after shower, I would put deodorant and some body mist because I want to smell good. Um, did I do this even though I'm about to go to sleep? Yeah, it's just a habit. Moving on to after shower, because I already did my body routine, that's why I'm wearing my pajamas. Um, so I use on my body this coconut oil shea butter body butter. I use it on my whole body. Then to double down on my moisturization is Suave Skin Solutions Advanced Therapy Lotion. And because I'm about to go to bed and before I go to sleep, I like to oil. Um, my body if I'm lazy just my legs if I'm not then my whole body I'm lazy so just my legs and I use this Vaseline in intensive care cocoa radiant oil so while in the shower I used this foot file to file my heel in my pinky toe well near my pinky toe in my big toe just regular places where I get like Callus, is that what it's called? Well, I filed it first with the rough side and then with the with the softer side, but yeah, this is what I use. So today we'll be using the Dermal Aqua Collagen Mask just because. Um, let's get my face routine done and over with. So because I'm lazy and I kind of don't want to search for like scissors, I just like to flip the eyelids inwards instead of cutting them. But if you can go and find your scissors, go ahead and do so, because why not? So we will leave this mask for about 20 minutes. So this is what we're working with. I know I let myself go. I got my stuff out. I got some cotton discs. And we're about to get this done. Hey everyone, and it is Monday. Yes, I don't remember where I left off the vlog. The the vlog last night but I had a very very severe headache because of the whole clock shift and I didn't have enough sleep and I was low-key thinking to abandon the vlog but this is like my fourth time trying to vlog and I was like you know what I won't abandon my vlog and I will face it I'll face the consequences of my action and I will continue on vlogging on Monday, even though this is not the weekend anymore. And yeah, I asked to leave work early today just to finish this. And I decided that we will finish this. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, last night I finished my body routine. And I talked about my face routine. But I think I left at the mask. So, yes, I did a mask. And then I also shaved my face. Let me show you. So I have these things. I bought a pack. It was filled up. Now I only have this. So this is a face razor. And I just did that. And I would usually use a cleanser. I'll just 
put a cleanser on and just do that and then wash it off. So yes, I did this last night. I shaved my face and like my mustache and all of that. What the? What was that? Anyway, after that I use a toner. This is CeraVe Hydrating Toner. I just take a cotton disc, a little bit of this, and all over my face I go from the center out. Now let's talk serums. So in the mornings, I usually use the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Serum. And I, I would let the toner sit in a little, dry up, and then do this. Let this sit in a little bit, dry up, and then I use this Glow Up Serum by Eclat. It is a vitamin C serum and it also has ferulic acid and vitamin E. Um, and then I let it sit and I just then put my moisturizer on. In the evenings, instead of this, I skip this in the evenings, I go in for this. And I after this, I also use my retinol serum also by Eclat and it's anti-aging serum, just, you know. Sometimes I would put too much of um, a serum, let's say this one, or retinol, but usually that's in the evening. If I put too much, I use my gua sha. And if I don't put too much, I put on my moisturizer and then I use gua sha just to have my skin smooth enough for it to glide. I, it's not evening, yeah, like the sun is still out, so I'm not gonna do my face routine, but I'll show you how I do my gua sha. I found this video on YouTube. I believe I still have it saved. If I don't forget, I'll link it down below, but... Um, so basically, I just go from here to here, and then I switch to this side, and then do that. Back to the center, this. Back to the side, that. Well, all slowly, at least three times and all of that, and then that. That, three, three times each side. Then my cheekbones, under my cheekbones, three times each side. Over my cheekbones slash under my eyes, three times each side. And I take this, and I do it this way, and I put pressure on each place, like that, three times. Then I take it over my eyebrows three times each side and I take this side and I go that way all over my forehead three times and that's how I gua sha. For my moisturizer I use CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion I use this on my face um, and if it's morning I would use Dime Wonder Screen it's a sunscreen, it's the only sunscreen that my face does not wake out into rashes after using, so it's quite an investment, but it's worth it. And if it's evening, after I moisturize, I would use this castor oil eyelash serum, but I would use it on my eyebrows with like a little, like a little eyebrow brush. You know, I'll take a little bit, just a little bit, done. We are done talking about my face routine. So yeah, I did almost all of that last night. Um, okay, let's move on to my hair. I didn't finish my hair routine yesterday. I just washed my hair, but let's talk about what I do to my hair after I wash. So I have this Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum that I use on my hair. Usually I use it right after I wash my hair, but I didn't last night. So let's take two little pumps. And just, you know, just put the serum all over my hair. So now what I like to do is I like to part my hair. And then I just put in a little bun and I secure it with a hair claw. And I do this on both sides. I will let the serum sit in a little bit and while the serum is sitting in, we will move on to my nails and my pedicure. 
so I remember I filmed the before last night then I didn't film the process because I was a little lazy but once again as I said I'm facing the consequences so let me show you what I did so I used this um, nail polish remover I think I got it at like a Dollar Tree so I just took a cotton disc removed my nail polish because I use black nail polish you can see how it stains my nails I recently saw a YouTube video, um, kind of like a short, explaining how to um, prevent nail staining. And I took some tips, I saved some stuff in my Amazon wishlist, and once I get paid I'll buy those stuff, but for now, let's continue on with the pedicure as I usually do it, and once I update it, I'll update you guys as well. And I just take a nail file, I'm not sure what is the number of this because it just came in a kit and I filed my nails well I didn't okay wait a second I think I'm mixing stuff up I just cleaned under my nails and then I just used a regular nail clipper clipped my nails then I used a nail file filed my nails and then I used this buffer that I got from Amazon and it's pretty easy because it has like like step one Step two, step three, step four. It's very self explanatory, and I just, you know, buffered my nails. And then I also have this other thing that I got from Amazon, one of their kits, and I just, you know, I just cut the extra skin. And yeah. So that's what I did last night, and I didn't end up coloring my nails. But that's what we'll do today. This came in a kit. Now I'll just use this thing. It's a nail polish that I got at a, at a random CVS. So let me do this and get back to you guys. So this is one coat of nail polish. We'll make a second coat in just a little bit. We'll just wait for it to dry and we'll make a second coat. I'm not the best nail polisher out there. So wherever you see like some stuff get you know messed up it's fine because in a day or two it'll just wash off with the water off your skin so don't panic okay i like i make such a mess so i i just let it wash off but yeah we'll get back in a few minutes to do a second coat and that'll be it Okay, so this is round two, and as I said, I am a pretty messy person, but this will all wash off in the shower in like a day or two, so yeah. Um, this is round two, second coat. We will let it dry. This is fast drying, so this won't... Yeah, look, I already got some on my hand, but it's okay. Let me explain to you what we're doing. I don't know if you can see but I, when I was filing my nails yesterday, I filed some of my acrylics as well. It's really not that much visible on camera because they're glossy, but in real life I could see them. So I decided to just top it off with a top coat that's transparent and it's, you know, an LED type of situation. So I got this off of Shein. So yeah, I'll just plug it in and we'll do a transparent top coat to cover everything we have filed yesterday. Okay, so while my toes are drying and the serum is, you know, getting all soaked up by my hair, um, before I do my nails, let's do my eyebrows. I don't know how to do my eyebrows, I'm still learning, but I saw this on YouTube and we'll try to do this. Pray for me. Um, there's a few hairs under the lines, so I guess we'll get rid of those. I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> I forgot to sharpen my pencil, but at the same time, I don't want to go to get my sharpener because 
my toes are still drying and I don't want to step on my carpet and get something stuck to my drying nail polish. Okay, so we got these tweezers and let's start. So this, this little place here is not supposed to be here. <laughs> I look funny with this thing in between. <laughs> okay. They look fine. Okay, so now we're moving on to my hair. But first, let me disinfect my eyebrows. I'll just take some of my um, rubbing alcohol and one cotton disc. So, I have this babyless bat board over here, and it's rotating. So, let's plug this in. And what I do now is, so I have the scrunchie that I got from Dollar Tree. It was an impulsive spending, but I decided to reuse it and I use it at home. Kind of like these um, hair claws. My mom got me those. I don't really like them. Don't really wear them because they don't match with anything I wear. But I use them at home for hairstyling, like now. So we take one side down we section it, so we take a little portion of the side and we put it all up so that it doesn't mix and then we take a hairbrush and we brush it and then after we brush it we take this, we put it on high. Ooh, I forgot before we start. I'm dead. So we take one side and I have this Formula 18 Thermal Mist. Use protection, guys. Thermal protection. Now, back to this. So yeah, we put it on high and then these buttons rotate. So I explain it now because it's a little too loud. Let's start. So, this is how it made my hair. You guys have seen the before and after, but yeah. So what I'll usually do is I'll take this hair tie and I'll put everything I've done together so that I don't lose it, so that it doesn't mix into anything else. And then I go through the whole one side and then I go through the other whole one side. So this is actually a really great tool for hair styling. It's a really easy at home blowout. For me, that's not enough because I want my hair to be bone straight. So I have this as our part two. But if you want an at home blow, I would highly, highly recommend Babyless Pro. I have the Nano Titanium. If your hair is curly, try to get the soft brush. But um, yeah, it's. Okay, so I am halfway through. I'm in my sports bra, whatever. I just wanted to show you guys. So this is 
after baby Liz, look, it's not completely straight. You can see it's kind of wavy-ish, but you see like it does have a blowout effect. And if you learn how to use it well and not like me, like I don't really use it that much, then it can't really look cute. Like I saw videos on YouTube, they look cute. And this is my hair, raw. My hair, my hair after baby list. Okay, so now that we have done the blowout, looks really cute, but not cute enough. Um, we're waiting for this to heat up. It's a ceramic iron and I like to have it at 338 Fahrenheit. Not sure what that is in Celsius, so I'm clueless with this, but yeah, I just section my hair, so I take a little section, straighten it out, and then take another section, straighten it out, and I make all my way to the very top. Yeah. Yeah, I like to go down to the roots and straighten it so that it looks like it is completely straight. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be doing that. And let me go back to my murdering mystery podcasts and finish up my hair. So we are fixing what we have accidentally filed off with this um, top coat. It's so hard for me to film. I forgot to start filming it, but yeah. Yeah, I hope it works. Look at all that hair. I just just finished just finished doing my hair look how cute it is so that was the vlog if you guys enjoyed it give me a thumbs up if not understandable it's my first vlog ever so well it took me like three attempts but <laughs> I'm learning also if you like the makeup look this is my everyday makeup and I decided to post it I actually just posted it on my Instagram so if you want to go and check that out it's the Maya Acidova so yeah anyway um I will continue on learning how to vlog because this is a new thing for me and yeah I'll see you guys next week on my next vlog Bye.